I think as a father uh, and as a husband that the onus is on me to live through example and to do things that show my son um, how important it is to live in a way a selfless life. Ultimately we are all guides. That's really what being a guide is, is a balance of leadership, accountability, communication, and dealing with adversity. Nurturing the people that you're with to make them better. I can tell you this, as many times as has happened where I get pulled off my feet by one of my teammates, I've been the guy in the back, most recently about two years ago, where I've been the guy in the back and I had a lousy night and I put my boots on and I got up and I fell down and my team caught me and saved my life. Saved my life. I was literally would have gone over the side of a cliff and I would not be standing here right now. And now it makes sense, right? Now it makes sense because I'm going to be the first guy in the rope and I'm going to be the last guy in the rope. And I want to be every person in between and so are you. Absolute definition of servant leadership. Not service, but servant leadership, being selfless, selflessly leading. I want to be a leader from a place of selflessness. I want to understand what it means to be able to elevate the people around me. Because now all data supports when a team, everyone on that team from every level feels safe. And when I say safe, that means nurtured, loved, no fear, not living in a world of fear but it feels safe and nurtured, then when that happens, that team dynamic starts to truly transcend it all. It happens. All the data supports it. That's what being a selfless leader is all about. That's what's looking out for opportunities to being of service is like. When you take yourself out of the equation in order to assess the situation, then putting yourself back in. I need to understand how to optimize the skill sets of the people around me. I want to know how to make them better because when they're better, we're better. So it's leading from a place that's centered around fostering the success of others first and nurturing others to help them identify their models of success, their routes, the appropriate route for them up the mountain. Because there's a lot of routes up that mountain. There's a lot of ways to get up. It's just a matter of finding the right one that suits them. Oh my God, it's like a 30 footer. What? Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. 30 footer, it's no problem though, dude. It's no problem, you will do this. Jumping off a 40 foot cliff with your blind buddy, that doesn't happen naturally. That only comes after years or experiences, more importantly, of adversity, of dealing with challenges and getting knocked down and having your buddy help you back up. I would ask you, to think to yourself, who would you step to the edge of that cliff with, both professionally and personally? I know that I've got the people on my rope with me. And if I venture out on my own, I'm not near as strong as I am with this collective power of one. Our responsibility as a leadership team for this amazing organization is to step up to the edge of that cliff and grab the hand of our teammates, of our members, of our friends, of our spouses, of our families. Hold on to them. Take that jump. Take a chance. Move on. Pick the right route. Be that leader. Be that leader that seeks out opportunities to show your team your level of commitment to the team and to the organization. Look for opportunities to be of service. Thank you and continued success to all of you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you.